I'm here with the 2020 Lexus RX, which is a revised version of the car that's already on the road today. And while the changes don't look all that drastic, let's remember, this is the best-selling car in the Lexus lineup today. So as the saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Or at least fix a couple of things that weren't so perfect to begin with. Let's take a look. The 2020 RX relies on the same recipe as RX's of pasts, except now Lexus adds a few extra herbs and spices to the mix. Did we mention that these are very mild herbs and spices? Like last year, the RX is offered in two sizes, the two row RX and then the bigger three row RXL. Now look very closely and you'll see a revised front fascia with headlights that are just a bit thinner than the ones found on the current car. But trust me, you're not alone if you can't really tell the difference between the current one and the 2020 model. The rear fascia gets similar treatment with revised taillights that help the rear to stand out a bit more. But move to the rear three quarter or even the side view and the RX looks, well, pretty much the same. Now Lexus did take some time to rethink certain aspects of the RX and praise be to the car gods that chose to focus on this, the infotainment system, which currently is, shall we say, ergonomically challenged. Now the frankly pain in the ass touchpad is still here, but now it's complemented by a touchscreen. And though I've only had a couple moments to play with it and check things out, I can report that things are better. They're not great, but they're better. There's still a lot of menus going on and overall the infotainment system certainly isn't our favorite. But this is absolutely a step in the right direction. And it's not just the touchscreen that's new. Apple CarPlay now comes along, and this is also the first Lexus model to include Android Auto. There are two infotainment screen sizes offered. The RX comes standard with an 8-inch unit, but the one you want is a 12.3-inch display. Did we mention their touchscreen? That's important here. Also, this being a relatively practical crossover, the RX has six USB ports for all of your devices. Power figures remain the same for both the RX and the RX-H, which is the hybrid model. So mechanically speaking, the 2020 RX is not drastically different, though Lexus did modify some of its components to improve the ride quality. No, the Lexus RX is not going to make your heart beat any faster, but it looks like the facelift model brings along the same level of luxury and comfort as before with some added functionality, and that alone is worthy of praise. 